Alright, I want to do a revisit, because literally I haven't worn these fragrances since I did a video on each of them. And now since I'm starting to see other content creators, I've seen that a lot of people like these fragrances. So I want to revisit and see if there was something that I particularly missed. Now there's a lineup of these three Latafa fragrances, part of the Al Noble line, which is Saphir, Wazir, and Amir the names. So since it's been a few weeks, maybe even months that I've had these fragrances collecting nice amount of dust, I want to revisit them and see because there's people who really enjoy these joints. So am I missing something? And the fact of the matter is I do a lot of first impressions and probably single or double wears. I don't remember what I did with these particular ones. But if so many people are interested in them or really appreciate them, maybe I need to revisit and who knows, I might change my mind. So if you're thinking about getting one of these three joints, which one would I recommend? Let's roll my fucking music so we can check out the Latafa Al Noble line and this one's horns are falling off. Bless it morning my beautiful peoples, you know who it is, it's your boy C to the U to the B to the A. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, I appreciate you guys watching the content. But let's jump into this video right from Jump Street. There's individual videos on each one of these pieces, if not video shorts. Again, I don't remember, I go through a lot of content, literally daily content. So I have seen in a few thumbnails and I want to make sure that I gave you guys the right interpretation or the right opinion. My nose does change, can it change in a couple of weeks? Absolutely. Rare, but does happen. So let's start with... Wazir. I don't know, there there must be some sort of meaning behind these fragrances. I don't know what they particularly are, why they chosen the antelope or deer or whatever this is, five point buck as their mascot. But let's check out Wazir. We'll look up some notes and see if this joint is really about that life. Like which one of these are you gonna buy in the cheapy space if you're a Latava fan, which there are many. All right, so we got two sprays of the Wazir and let's see what type of energy and time this joint is on. I don't remember what I said about it. It's not bad though. I like this joint. Sweet, caramel, fresh laundry, floral has like a sweet kind of nectar vibe. There's a note in here that's extra fruity, like leathery raspberry or cranberry, one of those tart and sweet berries. I mean, it's not bad at all. Let's look up the notes. Interesting. So the notes are listed as mint, orange, bergamot, juniper, chocolate, caramel, pear, uh -huh. iris, raspberry, amber, sandalwood, vanilla, cedar, musk, and vetiver. Yeah, it's not bad. Did I shit on it? Oh. I really don't remember. Okay. So Wazir are the front runner since the first one, next one. All right, next we're gonna jump into Saphir. I haven't looked up the notes in this one. Don't remember this joint either, but let's look into it. Let's snort it. Let's see what kind of energy I'm on today. Mm. Also in that minty, very green space, there's something here a little woody and damp, kind of wet, almost tobacco-y even. There's a lot of green, tobacco-y or smoky incense maybe? Smoky, tobacco, like spices, like a cornucopia spices. Something here that's slightly cinnamon-ish. It's also not bad. Did I shit on this one too? Let's look up the notes. All right, Artesmia, Burger, Bergamont, herbal notes, green notes, spicy notes, kayak wood, frankincense, nutty note, nutty notes, patchouli, juniper, cumin, and labdanum, nutty note, yeah. Nutty, spicy, green is the name of the game on this scent. Hmm, it's actually not bad either. It doesn't blow my dick off, but I don't think these were massively expensive either. The nuttiness is really popping off now that it's pinpointed and as nutty notes, I do get that freshly cracked nuts in your mouth. Gay! I'm sorry, interesting. And finally, Amir, all right? Mm. Yeah, it's like rose oudish. Mmm. I don't know, something about it doesn't really. I don't know. It doesn't drive me crazy. Pepper, oud, rosy. Mmm. I don't know. It doesn't move me at all. Let's look up those notes. Okay, apple, pink pepper, rosemary, clove, floral notes, oud, patchouli, cypress, labdanum, and vetiver. Get the oud, you get the floral, you get the pepper. Clove, I get it. Cypress, I get it. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't really move me. All right, so I could really determine real quick just to make this video easy. Amir for me would be number three if I'm gonna go with it. I think more mass appeal is going to be Wazir and Saphir is actually very different and I would put it as a strong number two, but these two were definitely better than the Amir in my opinion. This one I think would get more love based on that sweetness, leathery kind of vibe. The greenery in this one was very fun and the nuttiness in here absolutely popped. So this one has a little bit more of a nichier style quality. This has more of a mass appeal style quality and this one has more of a garbage can personality. Simple, direct, to the point. Which one of these three Latafa fragrances seem more of your vibe and which one would you purchase or do these just sound very redundant and regular? Don't remember what I really said but I think these are halfway decent 
and this one is just garbage. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Like, share, and subscribe. Any information will be in the link in the description. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. Mooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, snort tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would.